normally I bitch about something topical or newsy, but instead I just want to reveal that I'm like an, an old man, I guess. Sure. Uh, so we, we talked recently, I think, about, you know, like the, the when people think about making content these days, like I had read recently about people's fear that YouTube won't last because the videos are too long. Uh -huh. And so like everybody only likes super quick things 30 seconds 60 seconds maximum Vines. i think youtube videos aren't long it's three minutes it's 10 minutes like you don't have that right but then i realized and i don't even i, I think youtube's gonna be fine but if youtube, <laughs> I think YouTube is in danger owned by google uh -huh. yeah i think they're gonna be fine and i think that there's always gonna be a place for content of that length um then like the sort of content that i probably care about even more has no chance which is the written word. So I'm I'm going to be the billionth person across multiple decades to complain that like I can't conceive of reading being a thing hmm. anymore. And look, I did some yeah. I did some searching because my fear is I don't I don't generally have people tell me that they read books. Like I feel like there are books that we read when we were kids. Maybe kids read a few books these days, but I think that the entertainment available to them is just too consumable. It's too awesome. It's right in your face. Yes. And so. The reading, like le leisure reading of novels. The written actually, word. I think that you, yeah. I, I appreciate this, but I really need you to say like everything sort of a weird old English. Like, <laughs> the written word, ledger. And like, because you sound really elitist right now. No, I know, no, but I don't, I don't think that the written word has to be elitist. Oh, there but are libraries it? for now. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> but it is a little bit. I don't know. You libs and your fucking books. I just want I want that to be a thing. I think that there's value to it. It's it's one of the reasons that I started writing. But like are are is anyone going to write a book? Is can the novel survive in light of everything that's been happening? I know that these are these are stupid concerns. There is a lot more fun like fundamental stuff, but I just I think that the ability to be alone with something like that for there to be quiet, for there to be focus, I think that it's lasted for a long time. I think that it has value and I just, I want to be proven wrong, but I can't imagine that it will exist. And then there's the side effect yeah. stuff of, we don't really have bookstores anymore. Yes. God knows if there's going to be any funding for libraries. I know. There's no point in ever having a library in your home, which is my dream as a little kid. I don't know. I'm just feeling, I'm feeling old basically. Yo, dude, I feel that. I mean, I read a novel in the last three years. So I've. What'd you read? I don't remember. It was like this scary oh it was called um goosebumps it was called it was called only the only good indians it was by stephen graham jones and it was okay. scary as hell it was really bizarrely written it was scary as hell and i it wasn't three years ago it was a year ago so i've read like a novel in a year which isn't good but i do think there are you know it's i mean R.I.P. her legacy, but you know, um, J.K. Rowling. There, there, mm -hmm. there are books that break through, right? And I think often what was so brilliant about Harry Potter, and you're right, I have not read a single one. I've told, I admitted that to you recently. <laughs> but what was brilliant about it, it was that it's like it took like kids to kind of like hip their parents and adults that like, no, 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 this is not just like young adult fiction. This is like really, really good, really, really well written. Yeah. You know, and then it broke through. So like there are those and they generally are in your wheelhouse of like sci-fi fantasy, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, By the way, I, I want to give credit to like, honestly, women for being the only ones that are keeping any reading going whatsoever. <laughs> Like they, first of all, they write the books that break through, whether it's Hunger Games or Twilight or Fifty Shades of Grey what? or the Hunger Games. We They're don't the ones claim... writing it. They're also the ones reading it. We don't claim that that chick. I don't know what. No, her you're name stuck is. with J.K. Rowling. If if you want her at her best, you need to have her at her worst. But anyway, um, <laughs> like boys, it's done. Like no, no boys read anymore, and that I find that to be devastating. Like the cultural loss to so many people just thinking it's not for them. And I don't know how to fix that. I've occasionally talked about wanting to do something in that area. I just, I, I hate the idea that that could be like a thing of the past. It's not, it's, it's not it's telegrams. Scary. It's foundational. It, if having a kid right now and being like, I truly want to hold out like screens from her. I don't want 
like any screens. And if she needs or has to watch cartoons, it's got to be like she can't carry the cartoon in her hand. You sit down, you watch your cartoon and then you leave. Like I want to institute that. We'll see if I'm ever successful. But yeah, the whole thing is like, oh, we're going to read a read to them early. It's like, why? Why? They, nobody reads. Um, <laughs> I'm going to read to her. But Does she have her own phone? I mean, we're working on it, you know. Yeah. She will not have her own. But two, two rays of sunshine before we move on. One is there is a movement, I think, two movements within young people, with young people. One, because of the book bans that are happening in their schools. They're creating, like, mm -hmm. banned book club groups so or book clubs so they're reading these books um which if you've seen them they're just it just says penis like you know a three thousand five hundred times i mean there's a reason they were banned but no and the other thing is like i just read there's another article about like kids who are choosing to not have a smartphone so they have just yeah. flip phones and flip phones instead they can make emergency calls texts whatever but they're not like constantly scrolling um you yeah. know and they're sort of yeah, brain eating death spiral of social media. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.